Hi there, we are here to talk about the ending song of the movie uh, My Love Affair with Marriage, directed by Signe Boman. It's an animation movie, it's a musical, so there are a lot of songs uh, in, uh, in the script. Uh, but this is a different song because the, the songs that uh, were in, uh, in the original script were more uh, um, of uh, poetry. So th th they were very uh, short song uh, that has written in a sort uh, of poetry style. So uh, they are not, uh, they have not a structure of uh, uh, pop song. But for the ending titles, the director really wanted a, a pop song that was the uh, result of all the stories that are narrated in, uh, in this movie. We needed a song with a, a precise structure. The first thing the uh, director sent me is this uh, long uh, Lion the story. Lion is the uh, title of the song, is Lion, My Love Affair with Marriage. And was uh, the style of those lyrics were uh, really uh, narrative. It could be, uh, as, as for the other songs uh, from the movie, uh, this could be a, a, a song for, uh, for a musical. You see, it's very long, they, there are a lot of parts, uh, it's a really narrative. But, uh, uh, so, I said to the directors, we can uh, write a song with those lyrics, but it will be something more in the musical style, as for the other song, uh, it will be more maybe a ballad in the style of uh, uh, songwriters like Bob Dylan. And uh, she said, no, I, I want something more, uh, uh, more pop. I want a pop sound. I want some, something that uh, people uh, um, experience out, out of the theater. So uh, she, she wants people of the audience that uh, start to humming or, or singing or, or whistling the, this song. So I said, well, we need a precise structure because if you uh, analyze uh, what are the, the, the songs in, uh, in, the, in the top charts, uh, they have uh, an intro, usually instrumental, uh, you have um, a first verse, a second verse, a chorus, then a third verse, uh, another chorus, maybe a special or a, a, a instrumental solo, then uh, another chorus and uh, an ending. So uh, what she sent me really quickly is this uh, lyrics those lyrics that are really precise in the structure because we have uh, a first uh, a first part that it's the intro it's uh, not instrumental but it's uh, really interesting the use we did with uh, with this then a first chorus a first sorry a first verse a second verse there we go then uh, uh, a chorus and I feel like uh, this was not just uh, a chorus um, this uh, part uh, caught my attention so I said this will be the chorus maybe this will be a pre-chorus then I, I'll explain later uh, why then another uh, verse then a special that is really different in terms of uh, rhythm from all the other parts of the song then again the chorus and then the ending the outro let's call an outro lyrics for the uh, intro and outro it's uh, something that uh, I thought it makes sense in uh, a song especially uh, written for the ending titles of a movie maybe the, the directors uh, tried to explain what happens to the main character after the movie uh, finished so uh, to have a, an intro and an outro in uh, in the song was a, a really cinematic uh, idea and worked very well so the first thing that i started to write uh, was the uh, the um, the chorus because I thought this was a really clever, clever uh, hook uh, to write for the lyrics. The lyrics uh, goes like this. Uh, tip top, tip it tap, I'm moving forward, I'm moving up. Tip top, tip it tap, I'm moving forward with my new map. 
it's really interesting the rhythm sound of this uh, this part so i started from this from this i, I was inspired by the lyrics uh, i'm moving forward i'm moving up i'm moving forward with my new map i wrote this uh, the, the music part starting for the harmony of the of the piece and my idea was uh, to have uh, an harmony an harmony that goes up and up and up and up like this so the first chord, chord is uh, uh, B flat then we go up of a major third we have D major then we go up half a tone we have E flat then we go up a minor third and we have G flat so it goes like this Then starts a second time. Tip tap tip 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 tap. I'm moving forward. I'm moving up. Tip tap tip 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 tap. I'm moving forward with my new map. And now the singer of the of, of the song. The singer uh, in the end has been storm uh, large, and uh, I, I will uh, link uh, the, the final uh, version of, of the song. really easy to write the main melody for uh, this uh, little piece because the words were uh, uh, really uh, precise from a uh, um, musical and rhythmical point of view. So the next thing I did was to find a way to uh, uh, write the, um, the pre-chorus. So I thought let's start from E flat So it's E flat G minor and then B flat Okay was concerned by the uh, main uh, melody of the, of the verse because I said uh, we have um, a specific uh, uh, harmonic structure here and it's uh, they are just triad but it's a really uh, it's really strange it's unusual for a, uh, a chart tune a pop tune so I, I need um, a more uh, more uh, easy uh, way to conduct the harmony on uh, on the verse and uh, uh, because it was a sort of uh, re reprise of the full movie not uh, need to be uh, necessarily major or minor the team uh, in uh, the movie are uh, really uh, really serious uh, but uh, uh, the narration uh, has been done uh, by the director with a lot of, of uh, sense of humor so uh, as you can listen the, the harmony is not uh, uh, minor nor major it's, it's something it, it could be some, something in between even if the, there are uh, only major uh, triads but the sound is not, uh, it's not uh, the one of the uh, major uh, diatonic harmony so I need so something more uh, standard in the style, in the verse and uh, uh, I used the chord structure that it's uh, really uh, has been used, used really often in, uh, in pop music and in the soundtrack it goes like this, it's a G minor it's E flat B flat F Harmony is really, really simple. Then the pre-chorus, and then the chorus, as I said. Mm -hmm. 
so it's a sort of contrast between the verse and the chorus. Uh, and uh, with this uh, uh, structure of chord in the verse, uh, we start with a minor chord, but then we go in uh, E flat major, then B flat major, and then F major. So it's not uh, uh, minor, it's not major, it starts sort of uh, uh, sad, uh, just in the first. Uh, uh, first major and then it's all major this is why this uh, uh, sequence of chords are really, really uh, used very often in in the soundtrack and uh, in songs because not major not minor it can be used in a different way okay and then I need something really different uh, for the special but uh, I wanted to uh, keep the idea of this uh, energy that is going up because it's in, in, it's in the world. I'm going uh, going forward. I'm going up. The words are uh, full of energy, so I, I wanted to keep this energy with a sequence of chords that were going uh, up. We start from uh, uh, G flat. We ended the chorus with a little Q with. Uh, G flat and uh, A flat. Then we start a sequence of chords that uh, are going up. G flat. That goes on A flat. That goes on B flat minor. That goes on D flat. That goes on E flat minor. So one, two. course that are uh, in sequence uh, that goes up and up and up then we switch back to B flat minor then G flat and then A flat to start again with the, uh, the, the, the course of the uh, pre-chorus E flat G minor and then again with the chorus. Then uh, I needed to write uh, um, intro and outro. They, they are sort of, they are sort of recitative, like in uh, classical opera, and it goes like this. And uh, we have a sort of uh, uh, bordone with uh, uh, E flat on the bass, short of F with uh, E flat on the bass, again E flat, F, and then the song starts in uh, G minor. And in the end, we have a uh, fixed bass, fixed uh, harmony, just a uh, uh, E flat with the last uh, part of the melody. The ending note is a uh, C on a uh, E flat uh, major chord. So it's sort of uh, it's sort of ended with a question, and the the, the, uh, the words, the lyrics are really clear in this. Uh, What's well, know it? Could it be you? It's a question. So the sense of the melody is an ending question. So it's an unanswered question. Uh, it's unusual for a pop song. From the point of view of the production, I sent a first demo to the director that goes like this. It's a. Uh, quirky uh, demo with uh, uh, notes uh, uh, instead of the lyrics, uh, uh, notes play, played by a piano.
this is the intro it's, uh, with, with the lyrics in the, in the final version this is the verse the instruments in, in the stems here in the, in the in the mix are also in the final mix so we don't change so much of the arrangements we recorded real guitars and uh, and so on and real voice of course but the digital instruments were uh, just uh, there from the beginning from the first demo I sent to the directors and she agreed of the, uh, on this version maybe we change just the the key for the singer to sing. This is the pre chorus and the chorus. And so on. I then recorded a second version with a session singer. Just a, 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 a demo for a, for the final singer. And the final version has been recorded by uh, Storm Large. The, the, the this uh, an incredible performer, an incredible singer, and uh, just a little bit. Uh, Final track. To listen to the final track, I will uh, link uh, here uh, uh, to the official music video you can uh, uh, listen to, and uh, the track will be out in uh, in the next, uh, uh, I think next week on, uh, on Spotify and on the major uh, streaming platform. Hope this uh, video uh, is uh, useful uh, to. Uh, learn about my process to write the my workflow to write uh, this song I will uh, uh, publish some more videos uh, in the, the I think next week about uh, uh, how I wrote the, the songs that are performed by the character that are in the movie and uh, how I wrote uh, the overall score for uh, for this project uh, send me your comment about this video if you like it or not uh, and uh, and so on bye